the old saying, no hoof, no horse, applies to both man and beast. And anyone with foot pain knows it's going to take away from the pleasure of most daily activities. The Podiatric Medical Association says three out of four Americans will have a foot problem at some time in their lives, and many will never seek the medical attention that can cure them. The specialists at Tri-County Podiatry want you to know that foot pain is never normal, and no matter what causes your feet to ache, a trip to the podiatrist can usually offer relief. Foot health is really important in balance and gait because if you have an ache or pain in, in a certain part of the foot, you may tend to compensate and walk funny and what that does, it, it, it changes your whole biomechanics and can you know, throw off your hip, throw off your knee and basically do some damage and cause you to lose balance. When you lose balance, you know, you're high at risk of falling and breaking bones and damage yourself permanently. So basically we, we focus on you know, eliminating, eliminating the, the pain in the feet to make you have a better foundation and give you more stability and that should align everything up in your lower extremity and allow you to walk better. Shoes are very important. Number one, avoid high heels. When you wear high heels, you shorten your calf muscle. By shortening your calf muscle, the tendon has to work harder and it, it's under more strain, so that can cause the inflammation. Basically, it comes down, down to stretching, stretching, stretching. You, you don't think about it because it doesn't hurt, but everybody, when you walk, you use the calf muscle and it'll pull the tendon. So whether you know it or not, it's actually getting shorter over the, over the years. So you want to keep on stretching it every day. I generally recommend athletic shoes or athletic type shoes, specifically running shoes. Even if you're not a runner, they give you the most arch support, shock absorption, and they're usually the lightest. As far as sizing, uh, that's where it gets tricky. Some people tend to go like a half size larger or even one size larger to get the width. And with that, you have to be careful because then the arch height and the arch position is not correct and you can actually hurt other tendons in the um, parts of your foot. So what I recommend is uh, find your longest toes, which is not always the big toe, sometimes your second toe is longer, and have a thumb width from the longest toe to the end of the shoe. As far as width, you want to find a shoe that gives you some space but not where your, your toes are wobbling around inside the shoe. Just something comfortable where, you, where it feels good right away. Um, don't believe the shoe salesman when they say it'll break in and you'll stretch it out. If you have to do that, then the shoe is probably not the right one for you. Corns and calluses, basically there, it's a buildup of tissue and they're to prevent blistering and things like that. But when it gets very thick, it actually is like a rock sitting on your skin and it actually can break down the skin underneath. So if you push on it and it starts to hurt, it's definitely time to take care of it. Um, again, because if it, if it gets too thick, you can create other problems um, that could simply be um, shaved off and avoided. So. If you start to have pain, you should definitely come see somebody about that. At our heel pain center here, we try to focus on getting patients back to what they love doing. So being in the villages, people like to golf, pickleball, tennis ball, or tennis and uh, softball. So we, we focus on treatments that will get you back doing your activity quickly. Um, whether it be you know, cortisone shots, physical therapy, um, different techniques to get you back on your feet. That's the main purpose. So when your feet hurt, it's telling you something's wrong. You should never hurt, so don't ignore it and you know, take care of it right away. You'll find contact information for Tri-County Podiatry when you click the pain-free feet story link icon online at yourhometownhealth.com.